This is the Polar Dual Pitch Shifter, and although it's one of Propellerhead's own effects, it actually leverages the same rack extension technology as a lot of the other units we're looking at. It does a really good job, and personally, I was really glad to see this one because it reminds me of the Eventide Harmonizer effects, and is capable of producing very similar effects to those classic bits of hardware. In fact, I'd go as far as to say it's got a richer feature set and better modulation capabilities as some of those units. So let's take a look at the front panel of the Polar Dual Pitch Shifter and see what we've got on offer. So first of all, the main thing to look at are these two shifter areas, and this is really the heart of Polar. One of them is on all the time, and the other one can be engaged and disengaged at will. The main control for these are your main shift controls and fine controls, which remind me very much of the pitch shift controls in an oscillator and a synth. And then from there, we move into really delay effect territory with feedback and delay in the second shifter. The blue controls I'll get onto in a minute, but at the bottom here, you'll see we've got pan and volume. And we've also got the same controls here for the dry signal coming into the unit. On the very far left, we can control the algorithm, so really the character of, of the entire effects unit. And also, there's a loop and reverse loop control with a length control here, length parameter. Now, I said that I'd come back to the controls with blue around them, and the reason I wanted to look at these separately is that they represent the entire modulation system of Polar. You'll see over here we've got an envelope, and we've got a low-frequency oscillator, and both of these are surrounded by blue rectangles. These are then controlled by any control with blue around them, any parameter with blue around them. And you can see we've got dedicated LFO and envelope controls for just about every single unit in Polar. And this simply means that you can use the envelope or LFO to modulate these in a positive or negative manner. On top of that, we've also got an auto pan unit with a rate here that's nicely shown by these two flashing LEDs. And you'll see some in some places we've got an auto pan control. It really in the two uh, volume controls for the shifters and the main dry signal volume control as well. Flipping the rear of the unit, we've got some great modulation input options. So you can grab modulation signals from other devices, CV signals, and route them into Polar to give you some really synth-like effects. And then we've got audio input and output, which is to be expected, a gate input for the lock delay buffer, for buffer effects, and a sequencer control as well. So pretty fully featured and really just a nice effect that can give you everything from simple widening and chorus effects to more intense flangers and phasers and vibratos. If you take a look at the presets, you can get a pretty good idea of what's on offer here and the sort of sounds that you're gonna be expecting to make with this effects unit. We'll take a look in the next video of it in action and acting on some audio to see what it's capable of.